Hi everyone, it's Raja. And Raven. And you're watching this week's episode of RuPaul's Drag Race Fashion Photo Review. You know what I feel like? I feel like Sandy in Greece at the end, like mm. got a really shitty makeover. This is a, mm. a wig that was left here. Oh. That I decided, yeah, I'm gonna wear it today. You so. know, it's like here at the World of Wonder Studios, we have a costume department that's just never ending. We've got a wig stylist on set. Manicurist. Uh, manicurist. You're giving me Kelly McGillis and Top Gun right now. Mm -hmm. Ooh, does she have brown eyes too? Mm -hmm. um, she probably did. And, she, and, and you know what? From what I remember, she also had a white lace on her head. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, don't. <laughs> don't. So this week, what are we doing, Raven? We are tooting and booting the looks from the queens on the Work the World Tour, Heaney. Work the world where the bitches circulated around the globe and uh, terrorized each town as they entered and Ejaculated. Ejaculated <laughs> up in them towns, just minutes. So you know. it's just a regular, uh, yep. good old fashioned drag show with some queens that appeared on seasons one through nine of RuPaul's Drag mm -hmm. Race. It's all of our sisses, all of our sisses is just working it around the world. W E R Q ing it around the world. Working it. Work. Work. Well, let's see if they work in them looks. All right. First Here's, up. Yes. Miss. Chandra. 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 And, and this is a black and white photo. That's lovely because we have no f clue what she's wearing. It could be black, it could be white. I'm guessing with Chandra, this is gold. I'm gonna base this on the photograph alone. It's a black and white. It's a photo of Chandra. And I like seeing Chandra in black and white. There's something very old Hollywood about it or sort of vintage about it. She could be actually like Billie Holiday or there, there's just something very Sean Tusi and very jazz singer about it just to see her in black and white. I like it and I like the silhouette on her. She works her curves. The hair is looking sickening. It's I not the, the It's not the normal like Beyonce toss around hair that she mm -hmm. kind of features mostly. So I really like the sophistication and the cleanliness and like the pulling back a little bit and not being so death drop, and like being more like sophisticated. So you do like this look? I like it. I think it's a two. I think it's a two. I don't really care what color it is. It could be like butt brown, but butthole brown. It's called sepia. Mm. It's okay, it's two. I give it a two. It's a two. Or, or was it schmoot? It's a schmoot. A schmoot. A schmoot. Uh, a schmoot is like a. It's a. It's it's a two, but it's ninety. It's like ninety five percent. Yeah. Okay. It's, a, it's a schmoot. So it's not all the way up there. It's like kind of. It was doing this. It's a smidgen of a toot. Okay. Oh. A schmoot. <laughs> <laughs> I like to do mashups with words. Next we have Acid Betty. Acid Betty is always exciting to me. I love this. It is very very Acid Betty. It is what we would say these days on brand. It is like if you want to see it's her aesthetic. It's her aesthetic. And she looks and rad. Like I can see that she is really killing it in this number. It looks like there's some really cool visuals that are mm -hmm. shooting behind her, but she's always been that sort of like, you know, a very visual queen. Yeah, she's a, she's a visual person, she's an artist and Acid Betty is a is a club kid, you know, yes. and and I want to see that of her. If she came out and just rocked like just a just 1301 and like a, just barely of an, you know. In a beige a face. Yeah, yeah. Be beige face, yeah. <laughs> For sure, I would be booting her all the way. And this to me looks really cool. And I give this a toot. I agree, toot. Next we have my favorite superfood, kimchi. No. Kim has uh, latched on to the fact that people probably supply her with these wigs at either a very good discount, if not for free. So she, she got all them, them wigs. All mm -hmm. the time. And it's always looks great. The thing with Kim is she is a larger, more plus size queen. Mm -hmm. And she really wears things to kind of just cover it all Volume. Up. Everything she wears is very like. Voluminous. Yeah. Yes. Pretty. But girl, you can still be like, show a little bit. Show oh. Little, like, you know. The thing with Kim is it's always just, a, it's just like great, mm -hmm. nice, nice pieces, but it's just like, okay, here I am. I want to see her in something a little, not completely like, you know, mm -hmm. form fitting, but 
just a little more like, hey. Shape. Yeah. Shape, that's okay to say. I think yeah. it's fine, because I, you know, kimchi is like, startlingly tall. She's like as tall as I am. She's mm -hmm. probably like 6'3 or 6'4. She's mm -hmm. definitely the tallest Korean I've ever met in my life. That height really lends itself to like seeing shape on the body. It's not like she's a short squatty person. You know what I mean? Like she's yeah. got length to her and there's a lot of, there's a hair hanging off my glove. But there's, you know, there's a lot of room to play with and you know, I would like, I see what you're saying but ultimately like if I'm really about to judge this costume and this look and this hair and this makeup, it's a two. Yeah, she looks great. Two. Yeah, two. Yeah. But I see what you mean. Yeah, you girl, like come on. Can. Yeah. Next we have Detox. Detox. Like Detox is one of those bitches who goes from complete like neon, I'm a robot, uh, you know, like just craziness, like stuff that sometimes doesn't even make sense when it's all put together. And then then she goes for these moments where she's completely sleek and elegant. And I think it's because she's a Gemini, because we're both Gemini, so I kind of feel her, mm -hmm. like in that way, so I understand it. And I love this look, I love it. I love the hair, I love the slickness of it, just like that straight hair, the trench that's ever so just wrapped around her body, it's sort of camouflagey. her shoes are on point, they look painful. So, you know, there's that side of detox that I really, 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 really love and respond to, and this is one of them, and I give her two. Okay. Two. She's going off on tangents today. Tangents, darling. Next we have Valentina. Valentina running through the locker room, serving Latina beauty. She's a beautiful gal, isn't she? I'd like to kind of see her kind of spread her wings a bit. I realize that everyone has their brand and they want to sell it, especially in their year while they're on the road. You want to definitely sell that thing that you do. Mm -hmm. But I get it, I get it. You're a vintage novella star, mm -hmm. you know, Sarita Montiel meets, I don't know. It's just, you know, I see it all. And um, I'd, like to, I'd like to see her go a little bit younger. See, so the way I feel about Kim Chi, you feel about Valentina. Right, right, right. Just a little bit something different. Now I get like, you know, RuPaul, she has a silhouette. It's a column, mm -hmm. usually, column dress, big hair, and you know, very minimal jewelry. So maybe Valentina took a page out of her book and said, I'm only gonna wear this. She's really kind of dressing uh, an older part. I don't know, I just like, I, I, I've seen this before um, and I'm not gonna boot it because it's all exquisitely made, but I'm tired of like the flower or the symmetrical flower. Mm -hmm. Like it's just kind of like, oh, there it is again. And yeah. it's like, it's already been months into it. Like at this point she should have changed it. and. Uh, you know, and, and done something a little bit different. So I'm gonna toot this, but it's more of a schmoot. Schmoot. Is there something like, should we make up another word for it that's like 85% toot? Think about that, we'll get back to it. It's a schmoot so far. Okay. Next we have all the bitches. We've got- All of them, yeah. Shangela, Detox. Farrah. Pheromone Latrice, Kim, mm -hmm. Bob, and Milk. All of them. And Just, if, I were, if I were the, collectively they all look amazing. I'm so glad that we live in a day and age where drag queens are touring around the world and you can see them all collectively. They're yeah. all there together and they're all looking like they're having a great time. Um, and they all look amazing. Two. I think it's a two. Sure. Work. The, the world. world. Yeah. Work the world. Yeah. Trend alert. Work. Bitch. Working, working it. Work. work the work. Work, work the honey, runway. Work, honey, work, Miss Honey, work and Miss Honey, work, work. <laughs> <laughs> Our, Our top, top two of the week, week is Acid, acid Betty. Betty. Yes, Betty, yes, 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 yes. Work. I love her, honey. The world. Yes, she's working acid the world, Betty. Miss Acid Betty. She's drenching them in all the acid. Blah, blah, blah. Hey, girl, what you doing? Look up Work the World Tour on Google. Find, bitch, find them. Find wherever they're going, because you're not going to want to miss the Work the World Tour. Darling, find it. Get to it. Bye, bitches.